JD, Matt, thanks for the call today, guys. Uh, it's nice having a conversation with you once again. And uh, I do appreciate all the kind words, as I mentioned uh, on the phone a couple of times. Try to do things a little bit differently. It doesn't need to be complicated. Just uh, you know, tell the truth, do your best, and here we are. So I got pulled out um, the both vehicles. Now, one thing which is a bit challenging is that I didn't realize that the Red Eclipse Cross is sold. It's actually right over there with some accessories on that uh, Andreas ended up selling a couple days ago. So that's, uh, that's on me, I didn't realize that. Um, so for the Eclipse Cross, I have in stock an ES. It is in white. Uh, it's the only ES that I have, so now I've only got four of them. Um, and I do have a couple trim levels that are higher, but again, they're also white. And then I got a GT in titanium gray. Um, the pricing is the same. It's the same MSRP as the red one. Um, I did look at our incoming inventory to see, you know, what there is. And I do have a red 25 Eclipse Cross that is supposed to be landing in Vancouver. So the point of entry with the ship into Vancouver is on the 17th of this month, um, which was a couple days ago. So it's actually already on ground. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that we would probably see this vehicle before month end. Um, the um, Longshoreman strike right now down on Lower Mainland ended up ending a couple days ago. I'm not sure if you heard anything about it, uh, but it typically disrupts shipping for you know, a month. So it's really unknown. Also too, I don't have any programs on the 25s yet. They haven't released them. So whether they release the, the rates later this month or they gotta wait till December 1st, I don't know. Um, so I couldn't even quote a, a payment. Uh, interest rate's probably gonna be varying by about a percent, maybe. But, uh, but nonetheless, I'll show you the cars and then we'll sort of cross that bridge a little bit afterwards, okay? So, uh, side by side. So this is a uh, 24 Eclipse Cross ES and a 24 SEL RVR, okay? So the SEL RVR is gonna be the higher trim level than the um, the ES or the SE. So you're gonna get like the 18 inch hyper finish alloy wheels, turn signals um, in the vehicle, tinted rear windows, but uh, really, really nice car. I mean, they're, they're great to drive, 2.4 four cylinder engine. Uh, it's kind of the tried and true engine that Mitsubishi uses, the same engine they used actually in the Lancer for a long time. Maybe the same engine that your, your mother has in, in her RVR, but uh, yeah, really nice vehicle. Now also too, with the SEL, what it's gonna get you is a fast entry key system with push button start ignition. This is a uh, kind of a, a suede leather hybrid seat that's contoured a little bit more. Leather wrapped steering wheel, leather wrapped shift knob. Uh, this one does have the heated steering wheel as well as blind spot monitoring. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, backup camera, heated seats, USB input all-wheel drive that's the button there that you can toggle between uh, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive into the back if this was unlocked into the back I think you said uh, single guys so you might not have too many people back here maybe a couple bar runs that kind of stuff and then the cargo area well equipped 60 40 fold down rear seats that's that rear cargo liner that I was telling you about, as well as the all-weather mats that are currently in the car, okay? Um, the Eclipse Cross, same situation. You got the same uh, two-tone hyper-finished alloy wheels, uh, LED lights along the top of the vehicle for turn signals, um, turn signal integrated into the side view. There is no um, push-button entry system. It's just a, a traditional key cloth seating surfaces. This one's gonna have Ford collision mitigation. So that's an automatic braking system. Your Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's actually the same screen. Going down, dual USB import, whatever else. Um, this button here, that's the super all wheel control. So that's just a little bit more of an advanced all wheel control system. Coming along the back, very similar situation. And then in the cargo area, it's just a little bit larger. Uh, you might not be able to tell from the, from the camera angle, but it's just a bit of a larger vehicle. I think by about maybe six inches, I think is the, is the calculation. But that's the Eclipse Cross. 1.5 liter turbo, 
2.4 naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. So that's what the cars look like. It really comes down to personal preference, which we like the design of. Um, I do believe that the Eclipse Cross has just a little bit more torque off the line, just being that it's a turbo. So when it winds up, you get a bit more of a, of a sporty type feel. And actually one thing I'll show you this that I mentioned is just a little bit more of the robust center console. So like you can see here how it comes up uh, a couple inches above the seat, as well as having this more pronounced center console area. And in the RVR, it's just down a little bit more, gives a bit more of a flow to the interior. So from a features and options perspective, they each have a couple things on each other. Um, it just comes down to what you want. Heated steering wheel, something that you said you wanted, Matt, available in the RVR. Uh, the RVR also in that trim level is about two grand more um, MSRP to MSRP. So comes down to personal preference, my man. So I'll, I'll send you off this video. I'll also include after this um, breakdown of the numbers. I'll send you them on both breakdown of the 3M and undercoat uh, costs as well. And I'll take a look to see what I can do on that. And other than that, any other questions you have that I can answer before, just text me back, call me. It's all good. And we'll see what we can do. All right. Hope you boys enjoy your day.